You know, I've only recently got into actually using Grok, but I've got to tell you, in my opinion, from writing content, it is absolutely awesome. It is just so good at human feeling and emotion. If you don't know Grok, it's Elon's bad boy AI on X.com. You can get free searches with it every day so you can actually create this content that we're going to create here. The thing is, I'd heard about it a long time, but I just never did it. To be honest, I was a bit ill, but I'm on it now and I'm going to stay on it because it's awesome. So this isn't a summary. This isn't kind of like me giving you an overview or something. This is me showing you how to, from start to finish, take a set of prompts and actually create an awesome article that is not only based on the trending content that is actually going on in X at this time being, but it's the kind of article that is guaranteed to get likes and shares and people visiting your content on your website. So I'm super excited for this one. Hope you are too. All I can say is, hey, my name's Kieran Doyle. If you're new here, I really do hope you enjoy this. If you're returning, look, guys, hope you enjoy this one. It feels good to be back creating videos again. I'd love uh, if, if you enjoy it, I suppose, give us a, a like and a comment would be awesome. Let's get into this. So the first thing that we want to do, if you're new to Grok, you want to come over to x.com and sign up for an account, okay? And if you're a free user of Grok, well, basically you get 10 searches per day on Grok, enough to actually create this blog article, okay? So first thing you want to do is you come over to the side. Once you sign up, you come over to Grok and you click on that, okay? Now, the first prompt that we're going to use, we want to actually search on x.com, okay? So we want to use those inbuilt features here on x.com to find what's actually going trending on x at this moment, okay? So search exclusively on x.com and give me 10 blog post ideas for insert niche based on what's trending over the last week. week each post should have at least a 1,000 likes. Now, the thing is, if it is able to find those, it will list a set of points. But if it's not able to find them, what it's gonna do is summarize niche, this niche into a list of article topics that basically we can use based on similar search terms being searched, okay? So imagine it was uh, puppy clothes, okay? And puppy clothes wasn't being searched. It would then go and find related content to that that are trending based on the search here okay so we're just going to put uh, affiliate marketing beginners let's let's just put that one in okay uh and we're going to click search okay so and here we go this is pretty cool based on trending topics on x over the last week okay affiliate marketing 101 how to start earning passive income with zero experience uh, top five beginner mistakes in affiliate marketing. Now, remember, these are cool. So these are the things that are getting liked and shared on X. Okay, so we can utilize these ideas to get our content liked and shared and obviously visited on our website as well, which is like, which is brilliant, which is what we want to do. Um, so I'm just going to pick one. Okay, and I'm going to put in the next uh, prompt. Okay, and so I'm just going to put in my my article that I chose here. So I chose the the best free tools every affiliate marketing newbie needs in 2025, okay? So and what it, my prompt basically says, excuse me, let me put uh, brackets in there so you can actually see it, okay? So write five clickable blog titles for the post about, and then I took the post idea from here based on the top like pokes post in this niche today. So what we're basically doing is we're getting it to look at what it's given us and we're then getting it to kind of like go, hey, what's going on in this niche today? How do we create something that's going to get clicked? Okay, we get clicked. We're going to basically get our content seen, which is what we want to do. And as an affiliate marketer uh, or as an online business person, you want to drive traffic to it. Okay. So here's what he said. Since I don't have direct access to real-time data on X to identify the top like books in affiliate marketing for beginners niche in April 10, I'll base these titles on the sentiment and tool-related focus of relevant X posts in the context you provided, as I told you. It's going to do this if it doesn't have those things at the moment. Post from I am Chaluki, April 6, 2025, list beginner-friendly tools like Canva, Stripe. All right, so these are cool, okay? 
So it's giving us some great content ideas here. So what you want to do is you want to go through these ideas here, pick one, and then we're going to go on to the next prompt. Okay, so the next prompt basically says create a five part blog outline for the post title and then we're going to choose one of these designed to help beginners take action and feel supported. Base it on the most relevant trending content from X today within the same niche, structure it in a way that balances storytelling and practical steps. Okay, so we're just going to do this one here. Okay, the no budget, no problem. Now I'm just picking these randomly. When you're actually doing this, I want you to put a bit more effort into it. You're going to get a much better output for it. Okay. So let's go. No budget part one. Okay. Let's post highlights beginner friendly. The dream that felt out of reach, the storytelling hook, the connection to the reader. So let's have a read of that storytelling hook here. Start with a relatable anecdote. Imagine a beginner, let's call her Sarah, sitting at the kitchen table dreaming of earning her first affiliate commission. She's got passion, but no cash to invest in fancy tools or courses. The overwhelm sets in. It's beautiful writing. It really is. You can understand why uh, Grok is actually so good and why people talk about the content output and the personality associated with it. Uh, then connection to the reader, acknowledge the reader's likely feelings, excitement mixed with frustration and reassure them that starting small is not only possible, but powerful. I love this. I really love this. Okay. And then it's got things like transition. So it's going to transition into part two. Then we got an actionable step down here. We got our supportive tone. It, it's very well created, really, really well created. So now that we have this here, I'm going to move on to the next prompt. So this is where we're going to get Grok to really come alive. Okay. So what we want to basically do is we want to ask it to write our introduction paragraph. Okay. So write an emotional attention grabbing introduction paragraph for this blog post based on trending perspectives from the affiliate marketing community on X. And again, that's your, your affiliate marketing, your niche kind of element in here. So we're just going to put that in brackets so you can understand kind of the difference where you're going to have to change out your, your niche elements. Okay. Make it feel like it was written by someone who's part of the community and understands the emotional tension behind the topic. So let's go with this. Okay. So picture this. You're scrolling X late at night, heart pounding with that wild mix of hope and dread, dreaming of affiliate cash hitting your account, but stuck because your wallet's screaming, not yet. I get it. We've all been there watching the big shots flex their ad budgets while we're out here refreshing zero dollar PayPal's wondering if this game's for us. But here's the fire trending in our community right now. You don't need cash to start. You need guts, hustle and the free tools blowing up in X timelines in 2025. I'm one of you and I'm telling you straight, those sleepless nights, they're about to pay off, no budget required. It's beautiful, it's extremely well written. So with that done, let's, you see what the introduction is like, let's move on to the next prompt. Now, what I wanna show you here is this is actually pretty cool. Okay, so this is a cool little prompt that we can use. So let's rewrite that paragraph, okay, from the perspective of someone who's failed at five online businesses and make them feel their personal turning point. Okay, so you so you see again five online businesses. So what we're doing that is part of the thing that you can change out yourself. Okay, so whatever is that frustration that is actually in them. Okay, so let's click go. I've been the fool who crashed and burned five online businesses, five gut punching flops, late nights staring at X. I see the affiliate gurus raking it in while my accounts stay at zero, drained of scams, shiny tools I couldn't afford and dreams I couldn't fund. Each favor, each failure carved a hole in me until I was sure this hustle wasn't mine to claim. These are, this is so good. It's, this is really, really good. This is quality output, really good quality output. So look, you, you can see this coming together. Okay, so let's move on to the next prompt. So this one is basically about continuing the creation of the article. Okay. So we want to go write the next section of the article containing section two, ensuring it stays within the same tone and feeling. So what it's going to do is it's going to check. Okay. Here's section two, no budget, no problem. Drop chicken, uh, drop shipping disasters, blog flops, you name it. And every time I thought the missing piece was money. I thought those expos hyping $500 courses or paid ads and I'd scrape cash together I didn't have. 
only to watch it vanish. And so your next step is to go through and do section after section after section. Okay, so you only got five sections in this anyway. But then once you've done that, we're going to close it with a closing paragraph. Okay, a really cool take action, emotional closing paragraph. All right, so let's go and grab the prompt. And here it is, write a persuasive closing paragraph for this blog post that encourages, remember the niche here, okay, beginner affiliates to take action today. Offer them free prompt vault, which obviously is down below. Make sure the tone feels supportive, not salesy. Structure it like a mini story, okay? So yeah, guys, in the meantime, if you'll notice, all these prompts are going to be down below inside of the prompt vault that you can go and grab and utilize on x.com uh, inside of Grok, okay? So here's a persuasive tone. Last night, I sat where you are now, screen glowing, doubts loud, wondering if I'd ever claw my way out of failure. Hit dog and with five busted businesses, but then I grabbed one of the free tools I'd scoffed at, messed around with Canva, and posted something shaky, but mine on X. It wasn't perfect, but it was a start. And that first click on my affiliate link felt like the air drowning. Felt like air after drowning. Okay, cool. Very poetic. You don't need to wait for ready beginners. You've got the fight in you and I've got your back. Here's a free prompt ball packed with ideas to spark your next move. No strings, just support from someone who's been there. Take it, pick one tool from this post and start today. Okay, it's, it's really well. It's actually kind of like me. All right, so look, there you go. You have those prompts down below, guys. So make sure that you go and grab them, okay? My name's been Kieran Doyle. If you have enjoyed this, if you enjoy Grok, let me know. Let me know in the comments what you think it is as well. Talk to you in the next video. Nice one.